all we are going to see the small wave detection using machine learning algorithms uh, we are going to see the overview of our process malware is malicious software disseminated to infiltrate the security integrity and functionality of a system such as virus worms trojans backdoors and spyware with computers and the internet being essential in everyday life malware poses a serious threat to their security the main objective of our process is to detect the malware in the software from the input data here we are using malware data set the input data set was collected from the data set repository like uci and github and so on based on the characteristics of the observations the data set was created in a unix or linux based virtual machine for classification purposes which are harmful as with malware software for android devices mm. most recently machine learning is being used better performance in our process we have to implement the machine learning algorithms the finally the experimental results shows that the Uh, param performance metrics such as accuracy precision recall and f1 score next we are going to see the flow of our process first of our process we have to load the input data in our process we have used the malware data set the input data set contains the classification that is malware or benign uh, then host and so on after that we have to pre process the input images in this step we have to remove the unwanted data or unnecessary noise from the input data uh, in this step we have to use uh, label encoding and handling the missing values if uh, there is any missing values in our input data Uh, we have to replace the missing values uh, by zeros or nan values uh, in label encoding we have to encode the labeling then we have to implement the data splitting module in this module uh, the data splitting is the act of partitioning the input data into two portions and uh, mainly used for cross validation purpose uh, one portion is used to predict the value and another portion is used to evaluate the model uh, the two portion is uh, testing and training the most of the datas are used for training and smaller portions of the data is used for testing in our process we have to use 70% training data and 30% testing data so then we are we have to implement the machine learning algorithms uh, in our process we have to use the decision tree and logistic regression classification algorithm used and finally the result shows that the performance metrics such as accuracy precision recall and f1 score next we will see the final part that is output part uh, here i have just run our process uh, our program is in running okay successfully our program is run just i have to explain uh, this is our data set here just i have the sample data selection in our output part the next is pre processing step in this step we handle the missing values uh, already our data cells uh, there is uh, no missing values here zero means there is no missing values for each columns this is our data set here it will display the each column that is attribute uh, how many rows and with what type that is data type here hash is the attribute that is the object that is a string data type these are our data set types here just 
compare the graph between malware and benign the malware is from attack and non attack here display in pre processing the second thing is label encoding here label encoding i just uh, na display the first 10 columns only okay um, before label encoding here malware just you have to see the after label encoding it will convert it to malware is converted to one uh, i hope uh, you can understand the label encoding uh, after that we have to use a classification algorithm that is one is decision tree here the result will be displayed for decision tree then logistic regression and the this is the result of uh, logistic regressions and then uh, finally it will comparison graph uh, is displayed for both algorithms and uh, another module is uh, data splitting right uh, here will be the data splitting co yeah, this is the variables uh, in which is used as programming this is the variable and it will type and it uh, uh, size for occupying yeah, this is the output for malware detection using machine learning algorithms. Thank you.